Hello, hello, Dr. Cliff, your movement recovery specialist. And today we're going to talk about osteopenia. What is osteopenia? Well, osteopenia is a weakening of the bones. Your bones are made up kind of like a, uh, like a snowflake, right? They're a, a crystal pattern and all bone looks a little bit different, but it's it's not solid. It's it's like a lattice structure like this, all kind of stuck on top of each other, and there's space in it, and too much space is bad. A little bit of space is good, but too much is bad. So we use a test that's typically recommended for people over 65, uh, unless you have a list of different medical issues or you're suddenly just breaking a bunch of bones or you have a family history of, you know, everybody in your family over 40 gets diagnosed with osteoporosis, which is a little bit different, uh, then they might have you have a, a bone density test earlier. Now, a bone density test is something also called a DEXA scan. You might see it written D-E-X or D-E-X-A. And on that scan, there's a, a scale that goes starts at zero, which zero is actually normal, and then goes both directions. Like, uh, remember those number lines in school that kind of go out in both directions? So anything from one to negative one is normal. When you get over here, oh, either way, we'll say this is positive over here. So when you get down here at negative one or the whole way over here to negative 2.5, that's osteopenia. Now, what's important about osteopenia is that it's kind of just a mild form of osteoporosis. It's not severe bone loss yet, but you're on the way that heading towards it, osteoporosis. And osteoporosis can be very debilitating. Osteoporosis is anything further down this line that's negative 2.5 or higher. Now, remember I said it's kind of like a snowflake? Remember making snowflakes in school as a kid and you cut the paper out and all Look, I made some examples for you so you can see. Here is what normal bone looks like. See how there's some holes in here? But there's lots of white, lots of bone. Bone's made up from minerals. Calcium, magnesium, potassium, some less common ones, strodium, and this and that. Now, if you go get your DEXA scan and it says you're at like negative two, what the bone would look like is something more like this. Look, there's a lot more holes in this but you still have bone. So we can work with this. We can eat certain foods that are higher in calcium and vitamin D and vitamin K. We can do weight bearing exercise, like uh, running, jumping, maybe not jumping, depends on the person. Uh, you know, calisthenics, like old school push-ups, pull-ups, sit-ups, body weight squats. Or probably the best thing, weightlifting. Not swimming. Swimming is good for the joints and good for some general conditioning. But not swimming for bone density because the uh, floating around the water doesn't encourage your body to hold on to any more bone. Now, if you don't do anything, then you get to osteoporosis. Look at this guy. There's almost no white left. There's lots of space. This is if you're over negative 2.5 on a bone density scan. This is like negative 3 or 3.5. This is where you sneeze and break a bone. This is where you go to walk down the stairs and you fall down the stairs and they say, oh, you fell down the stairs and broke your leg. But really what happened was when you tried to step down the stair, your leg broke and then you fell. This is bad news. Nobody wants to be here. So, 
If you've been told that you have osteopenia, which is this guy, get to the gym. Or just do some of the workouts that I have on this page somewhere. I'll put some links up here at the top. You can do them right in a chair. You just have to get moving and work the muscles. Because if you work the muscles, the bones go along. They say, we have a stress. We need to suck in some of the minerals and strengthen ourselves so that we look more like this again. If you enjoyed this video, I do a couple a week. Please consider subscribing. Click that little thumbs up button down there in the corner somewhere because that's always helpful. Remember, if you have questions about any other medical things, uh, whether it's exercise related, nutrition, uh, anything in general, just leave it down there in the comments and I'll be happy to answer it. Until next time, remember, life is a strength sport, so get stronger and get living.